Father, we thank you for today being a stress-free day. I just like you to just glorify him this morning. Father, we thank you. Lord, we glorify you. You are the Lamb of God. You are the El Shaddai. You are the God who is more than enough. <laughs> Let's begin to thank him this morning. Let's glorify him. Let's thank him for these 21 days of prayer. Lord, we thank you, Lord, we glorify you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37, verse 1, it said, The hand of the Lord was upon me. We're going to pray that this year, the hand of God will be upon you for uncommon results. The hand of the Lord will be upon you for uncommon results, for uncommon achievements. Lift up your voice. Let's pray this morning. Leave The hand of the Lord is upon me for uncommon results, for uncommon common visitation ricara de seketo libla de sekene baba rindo do do seketo libla kaba the hand of the lord is upon me for uncommon result rindo seketo libro do seketo libra kuro do seke baba rindo do do seketo libro do seketo libra kaba baba the hand of the lord is upon me for uncommon result for uncommon release of the spirit rindo do seketo libra de seketo libla kaba baba in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. It's said in Ezekiel 37, verse 1. In Ezekiel 37, verse 1, he said, The hand of the Lord was upon me. He carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, which was full of bones. And he caused me to pass round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O oh Lord God, thou knowest. Verse 4, Ezekiel 37, these bones. And say, on, and this is what we're going to do this morning. You're going to speak to your businesses. You're going to speak to your job. You're going to speak to your finances. Oh, uh, ye dry bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. Because when you speak, things begin to happen. I'd like you to lift up your voice right now and begin to prophesy. Let's begin to prophesy to your job or to your business. Father, in the name of Jesus, will prophesy upon this business. That this business begins to grow. That this business begins to experience increase. Uh, in the name of Jesus, we told my lack and about we prophesy upon this business to take off and begin to soar. So what beyond limitation? So what beyond limitation? We prophesy on this job eh, that this company will begin to grow, that she will get a new job. That your job will improve in the name of Jesus. Eh. We prophesy right now on the works of your hands to begin to increase. Eh. Mm. We'll prophesy to the works of your hand for supernatural manifestation, for supernatural release, for supernatural outpouring of the Holy Ghost. That the business will grow and maximize profit. In the name of Jesus, we decree right now, uncommon harvest is coming to you. Uncommon release of the Spirit is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus, we'll prophesy supernatural release, supernatural release of the Spirit of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we're praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We are going to pray with the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah 40. And we're going to read verse 1. Isaiah 40, verse 1, he said, Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, says your Lord. Comfort ye, 
comfort ye my people. We're going to pray that in this season you'll be comforted. If there is something you're believing God for, you will experience its manifestation. It is your time to experience uncommon comfort. We lift up our voice right now, begin to decree the, the comfort of the Lord. The Lord is comforting you concerning your ministry, concerning the business, concerning your calling. The comfort of the Lord. 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 We are comforted in the name of Jesus. Sir. We are comforted in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray that. Amen. Hallelujah. In Isaiah 35, Isaiah 35, we're going to read from verse 1. Isaiah 35, verse 1, he said, The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. Hallelujah. Verse 2, Isaiah 35, verse 2, It shall blossom abundantly. We're going to pray right now that your vision, your provision will blossom abundantly. We're praying for two things. That your vision and provision blossom abundantly in the name of Jesus. we decree that's that our vision and our provision blossom abundantly. May your opportunity blossom abundantly. In the name name of Jesus would decree I decree I release upon you that things begin to blossom abundantly concerning your job concerning your finances uh, concerning your work with God uh, that it blossom abundantly that it blossom abundantly uh, in the name of Jesus that your vision blossom abundantly in the name of Jesus. You will not be weary, you will not be tired, you will not be frustrated. It will blossom abundantly in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, in that same Psalm, Isaiah 35, verse 2, it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice. Even with joy and singing, the glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it. Uh, the excellence of Carmel and Sharon, and, and Sharon, they shall see the glory of the Lord and the excellence of our God. In this 2018 and beyond, people will see the glory of God upon your life, upon your calling, upon your business. There will be visible man manifestation of the glory. When the glory manifests, the impossible becomes possible. When the glory manifests, the vision becomes a reality. Let's begin to decree right now. The visible manifestation of the glory of the Father consigning your vision, you're going to have the manifestation of the glory of the Father. The manifestation of the glory of the Father in a such a dimension we have not seen before in the ministry, in business. And, mm, a dimension of glory we have never experienced before. A dimension of glory. A dimension of glory. A visible manifestation of promotion, a visible manifestation of progress, a visible manifestation of increase, a visible manifestation of the anointing. There is a manifestation, there is a release in the name of Jesus upon your life, upon your calling. In Jesus' mighty name, we're prayed in Isaiah 35, verse 4. 
Isaiah 35, verse 4, it says, Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble nails. Strengthen ye the weak hands. We're going to pray that this year God will use you. God will use you to be a blessing to people. One of the greatest proof that you're living is that you choose to be a blessing. One of the greatest proof that you're living is that you have to be a blessing. You have to be a blessing. But I want to pray that this year God will use you to strengthen the weak hands. God will use you to raise people, to help people. I'll be strategic to be a blessing. I'll be strategic to point to people. That the Lord God will use you. Rendo that the Lord God will use you this year concerning your vision, concerning the dreamer. You will be strengthening the weak hands. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray that. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, Isaiah. 43, Isaiah 43, verse 4. Isaiah 43, verse 4. It says, Since thou was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore, I will give men for thee and people for thy life. Hallelujah. I will give men for thee and people for your life. Look at that scripture, Isaiah 43, verse 4. Since thou was, since thou was precious in my sight, thou has been honorable. I have loved thee, therefore I will give men for thee and people for thy life. He will give men for thee. He will give people for your life. That simply means that men and women come with position strategically to help you this year, to stand with you this year. Let's begin to call them forth. Those men and women that God will use strategically to move your business forward, to move your assignment forward, to move your vision forward. The right men and women are connecting with you. Mm. In the name of Jesus, we decree that the right people are hooking up with your business. Uh, the right people are connecting with you this season. Uh, the right men and women is giving men for your life. He's giving people for your life, for your dreams, uh, for your vision. You will not toil. He's bringing men into your vision. He's bringing people into your assignment. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray that. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. In Isaiah 43, verse 5. Isaiah 43, verse 5, he said, Fear not, for I am with thee. Hallelujah. Fear not, I am with thee. Hallelujah. Will rebuke every form of fear. Look at the word of God. Isaiah 43, verse 5. He said, Fear not, I am, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He said, I will say to the north, give up, verse 6, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. I like us to pray right now. That, that there will be an uncommon restoration, an uncommon restoration of sons and daughters, of children coming back to their parents. Londo Robo Sakalaba. The Lord said, Fear not, Le Karababa. Fear not. 
Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. Randro sekundo robo sekere baba. Rindo no robo seketo robo sakaba baba. Likondo no robo sekunda ni baba baba. Likarada seketo ni makaba baba. Rindo no robo seketo ni makaba baba. Rondo no robo seketo ni makaba baba. Fear not concerning your vision. Fear not concerning your assignment. Likara baba baba. There is restoration of right relationships. Rukoto ni baba. Restoration, restoration by the Spirit of God, restoration, Nikarada Sekebaba, on common restoration, Nikandi de Nebosakaba, your son is restored in his right sense of mind. Every child that is battling with gay spirit, with lesbian spirit, will begin to destroy its right now in the name of Jesus. Will stand in the gap for your son or your daughter. If there is anyone battling with a gay relationship, uh, Lord, deliver them in the name of Jesus. Deliverance for your people. Deliverance for your people. We command addictions, ungodly addictions to be broken. Mm. By the Holy Ghost, sir. on godly addictions to be broken by the Holy Ghost, Ricardo de Debus, on godly addictions to be broken by the Holy Ghost, Ricaraba Secretary Lacababa, Rondo no no Baba, Rindo no 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 Baba, on godly addiction be broken by the Spirit of the Lord, Malume Kala de Secretary Baba, Ricardo no Ungodly addiction broken by the Spirit of God, broken by the Holy Ghost, uh, broken by the Lamb of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Sir. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Sir. Thank you, Father. Addictions broken. Thank you, Baba. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. In Isaiah 43, verse 11. Isaiah 43, verse 11. Thank you, Father. Mm. In Isaiah 43, verse 11, he said, I, even I am the Lord. And beside me, there is no savior. There is no savior. He said, beside me, he said, there is no savior. Beside me, there is no savior. Beside me, there is no savior. Hallelujah. He said, beside him, there is no savior. We are going to pray right now. Because he's our source, we're going to trust him. 2018 and beyond is a time to trust God. We're going to pray right now. Lord, I trust you concerning everything, concerning my vision, concerning my future, concerning my children's life. Lord, I trust you concerning everything. Lift up your voice and begin to decree. Lord, I trust you with my future. I trust you with my children's future. Lord, I trust you with my destiny. Lord, I trust you with my purpose. I trust you with my dreams. I trust you with my dreams. I trust you with my destiny. I trust you with my vision, sir. I trust you with my assignment. I trust you with this company that it will grow. I trust you with this organization. It will grow. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Ghost. Sir. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father.
Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lamb of God. Thank you, El Shaddai. Lord, I trust you. Thank you, Father. I trust you with the future. Thank you, Lord. I trust you with my steps. Every step I will take in this season. God, I trust you with every step I will take in this season. I trust you for counsel. I trust you for wisdom. I trust you for understanding. I trust you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 46, verse 9. Sorry, Isaiah 46, verse 9. Isaiah 46, Isaiah 46, verse 9. Remember the former things of old, for I am God. Remember the former things of old, for I am God. And there is none ex. I am God, and there is none like me. Remember the former things. Remember the healings. Remember the deliverance. Remember the provision. Remember how God helped you, how God empowered you. Remember, you see, one of the ways your faith becomes effective is when you focus on the goodness of God. Don't make your need your focus. Make the knowledge of the goodness of God your focus. Don't make your trials your focus. Make the knowledge of the goodness of God your focus. Don't make your challenges your focus. Make the knowledge of the goodness of God your focus. Don't make any opposition your focus. Make the knowledge of the will of God your focus. He said here, he said, remember the former things of old, for I am God. I am God. I've helped you 10 years ago. I helped you 20 years ago. I helped you three weeks ago. I helped you one month ago. I helped you two weeks ago. I am God. I want us to begin to focus on God's goodness. I'd like you to pray this prayer point. Oh God, help me to stay connected to the knowledge of your goodness. Oh Lord, help me to stay connected to the knowledge of your goodness that I'll be more focused on the knowledge of your goodness. Oh God, help me to stay with the knowledge of your goodness. I'll be goodness of God minded. We are goodness of God minded. We are goodness of God minded. I am goodness of God minded in the name of Jesus. I am goodness of God minded. I am goodness of God minded concerning my dream, concerning my vision. Concerning the expectation, I am goodness of God minded. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Some, uh, sorry, Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45. We're going to read verse Isaiah 45, verse 3. Verse 2, sorry. Isaiah 45, verse 2. In Isaiah 45, verse 2, I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. Hallelujah. He said, he will go before you and make the crooked place straight. We're going to decree Isaiah 45 verse 2. I will go before thee and make the crooked place straight. I will break in pieces the gate of brass and cut in a sun that the bow of iron. We're going to pray right now. God is going before us to make the crooked places straight. Concerning ministry, concerning business, concerning our expectation in this season. God is going before us to make the crooked places Great. In the name of Jesus, every journey we are to take this season, every decision we are to make this season, God is going before us and he's making the crooked places straighter. We'll receive understanding. We'll receive inspiration. crooked Places is made straighter by the Holy Ghost. Rando seketani blakamba, rando no no bo seketani blababa. The crooked places is made straight by the Spirit of God. Mandro seketani blakada bababa, rando no no bo seketani blakamba, rikondo no bo bababa bo sakanda la bababa, rikande de 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 bo seketani blakamba bababa, rando no no bo seketani blakamba bababa. The crooked places will be made straighter. Consigning your vision, concerning your assignment, uh, concerning your dreams, uh, in the name of Jesus, 
Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. 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 Thank you, in the name of Jesus, ring the lobo shakabwa, ring kondo lobla kabwa, lekanda rabasi ketoli bladara. In Jesus' mighty name, we prayed. Isaiah forty-four verse twenty-six. Isaiah forty-four verse twenty-six. In Isaiah forty-four twenty-six, he said that confirm it, that confirm it, the word of his servant and perform and perform it, the counsel of his messenger. We're gonna pray right now that God will confirm. The prophetic word concerning your life. Then there will be manifestation of the prophetic words. The things God has spoken concerning you, concerning your dream, concerning your assignment, there will be manifestation that God will confirm his word. There will be manifestation of those things God has spoken to you in the secret place. It's going to come forth. It's going to comfort in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lamb of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray then. Amen. Isaiah 43, verse 16. Isaiah 43, verse 16. Isaiah 43, verse 16, he said, Thus says the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea. Hallelujah. I like this. He said, Thus says the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and parts in the mighty waters. Hallelujah. He will make parts in the mighty waters. Isaiah 43, verse 16. Isaiah 43, verse 16. Isaiah 43, verse 16. He said, Look at this. He said, Thus says the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a part in the a part in the mighty waters, hallelujah. He maketh a part in the mighty waters. Woo. Glory to God. He maketh a part in the mighty waters. We're going to pray right now that God will make a way for you in this season, in places you never expected. He's going to make a way. He's going to make a way. Where they say there is impossibility, God will make a way. What men cannot handle, God will fix. What men cannot handle, God will fix. Matula Baba, Rekanda Laba Seketoli Black Kababa, Rindo Seketoli Black Tinde de Bosa Kababa, Rindo Robo Seketoli Black Kababa. He's making a part in the name of Jesus. He said, Thus says the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a part in the mighty waters, a part. Uh, the impossible is becoming possible right now. The impossible is becoming possible right now. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Isaiah 43, verse 18. Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19. Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19, he said, Remember you know the former things, consider, consider the things of old. He that consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Isaiah 43, 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Ye shall ye not know it. I will even make a way in the wilderness and a river in the desert. I will make a way. In the wilderness, places where people think it's impossible for you to succeed, impossible for you to win. He said, I'm going to make a way. In the wilderness, like, I like this. Behold, I will do a new thing. We're going to pray right now. New things will begin to happen this year. Concerning your finance, concerning your job, concerning your health. 
concerning all aspects of your life. New things are happening. Let's lift up our voice. I see new things happening in the name of Jesus. New things are manifesting in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, mm, new things are manifesting. Record over sake to me, ba 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 ba. New things are manifesting. No rebo sake, ba ba. Concerning our expectation, new things, uh, new opportunity, new relationship, new platform, uh, new connection, new jobs, uh, new businesses, uh, new things are manifesting. Rondo robo sake, ba ba. New things are breaking forth. Ma koroba. New ideas, uh, new sales strategy. Ma kababa. New innovation. New creativity, Makalababa, Rikanaba, better understanding, Lindo Roboba, Rikakalabo Seketo Libra Kababa. In the name of Jesus, a new thing is happening. A new thing is happening in this ministry, in this vision, in this church. A new thing is breaking forth. A new thing is breaking forth. In the name of Jesus, uh, a new thing is breaking forth. Uh, we see increasing increase everywhere. We see increasing increase everywhere. Concerning our dream, concerning our vision, concerning our assignment, increasing increase. New things are breaking forth in the atmosphere. In the name of Jesus, we're going to bind every spirit of depression. You know, there is someone you're in this meeting right now. There's a particular issue you're dealing with and you've been so depressed. You've been so depressed. I hear the Lord saying, you don't have to worry about it. There is a joy for you. You've been battling with the spirit of depression and frustration. And the Lord said, it's time for that spirit to leave. You're battling with the spirit of depression and frustration. You, you, you are so scattered. But I see the Lord taking away depression. Let's pray, church. Father, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke every spirit of depression and frustration. We command you to go right now. Leave that body. Leave her body. Leave his body. We cast that every form of depression, every form of anxiety, every form of fear, the fear of the unknown, the fear of death, the fear of losses, the fear of lack. We rebuke every spirit of depression in the name of Jesus. Be gone and never return back in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of loneliness, struggle, we rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Father. Every spirit that causes people to commit suicide. Suicide, yeah, yeah. That's what I heard in the spirit right now. Suicide. Someone battling with suicide. You have tried it once before, but the Lord is breaking that spirit. He's destroying the root of that spirit of suicide. I command the spirit of suicide to be gone in the name of Jesus. You will not take your life. You will fulfill your destiny. You will not take your own life. You will fulfill your destiny because God has a great plan for you. I rebuke the spirit of suicide. No matter the setback you have experienced, God has a destiny for you. No matter the challenges you're noticing right now, God has a great future for you. I Stand in faith with you right now for a miracle of 24 hours. There is someone in this broadcast right now. You're going to have 24 hours miracle. In 24 hours time, things will turn around. In the next 24 hours, before we gather here tomorrow morning for this prayer time, now, you will have a testimony. I decree supernatural testimony. Supernatural testimony. In the next 24 hours, uh, miracles of provision. Uh, Miracles of open door, miracles of preference treatment, miracles of supernatural house. In the name of Jesus, I command the yoke to be broken. I command the yoke to be broken. Be free right now. Be free in your thinking. Be free in your mind. In the name of Jesus, we'll reject the rejection. We'll reject the rejection. We'll reject the rejection in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Provision for your provision. Provision for your vision. That's the right word. Provision for your vision. I decree right now that provision begins to come to you. I stand with you in faith that money will come in today. That money will come in today. That this week finances will be coming into your hand. To be able to do the things you are expected to do. Receive provision. Receive provision. Before the end of this week, there are going to be finances coming in to take care of some bills. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. Your provision will exceed your imagination. Your provision will exceed your thinking. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that the blessings of the Lord will rest upon you. That you will continue to see the increase on every side in the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, we're going to pray for families right now that your family will be secured from every wind of destruction, from every wave of death, from every wave of strife and contention. Lord, we pray over the families. We pray over the families in the name of Jesus that your family be healed, that your family be delivered in the name of Jesus. Receive the power of God. Receive Receive revelation of the Holy Ghost uh, in Jesus' mighty name. We pray that uh, may understanding come into your mind. May understanding come to you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Before we round up this meeting today, I have a brief word of exhortation for the next three minutes. Hallelujah. A, a brief word of exhortation for the next three to five minutes. Now I, I will take it from Isaiah forty-three. Verse, verse 19. Isaiah 43, verse 19, he said, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now listen to this. This is the season of new things. There is going to be an amazing release of new things coming into your life. I want you to have an expectation that you have stepped into a season where you'll be seeing the manifestations of new things. New level of profit new level of understanding. You know, you're going to begin to see things that you have not seen before. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Because, look at this, because I will do a new thing and it shall spring forth. What God is going to do in your life this season will spring forth with increase, with open doors, with preferential treatment. I decree right now as God's apostle and prophet that you begin to see the manifestation of the power of God. You begin to see the release of the spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, I pray that your expectation come to pass, that your vision become a reality. I decree that whatever you're believing God for in this season, may it be made manifest. May it be made manifest. I stand with you in faith uh, and I command the miracles to begin to happen. I command the doors of opportunities to be open for you. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lamb of God. Thank you, El Shaddai. Thank you, the God who is more than enough. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I felt the power of God on this broadcast today. I felt the power of God. New things are happening. Write it to your diary. New things are coming to a season of unlimited new things. That's a prophetic word for someone. I have come into a season of unlimited new things. New things will be happening. New jobs. New house, new car, new soul you win to the Lord, new open doors, new ideas, new innovation, new creativity, new things breaking forth. You will rise in your giving because your provision is multiplying in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lamb of God. In Jesus' mighty name, if you're watching this broadcast today and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I'd like to lead you to Christ. You can say this after me. Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth. I believe in my heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. Hallelujah. If you pray that prayer with us, we want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Faith Man Teaching on YouTube, and you'll be blessed watching our teachings on YouTube. Hallelujah. And your life will remain the same. 
So subscribe to Fitman Teachings on YouTube and share it with your loved ones and your neighbors. Hallelujah. Also, I want to encourage you to keep watching finishworktv.com. Finish Work TV is a ministry on the cutting edge, helping people around the world to receive the engrafted word of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We have come to our offering time today. So let's prove our offerings. Whatever you be giving to the Lord will be multiplied into your life. Our giving is a proof of our worship also. So this is why in this place we will gather, we give, we give offerings. I believe in that. That's part of the things we do as expressing worship. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over the giving of your people. Lord, is said in your word that you will hear us in the day of trouble and you will remember our offerings. I pray that your giving today will lead to uncommon harvest in the name of Jesus. I pray that your expectation become a reality. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that, that you will receive profit. You will receive open doors, opportunities, platform. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that your best of days will begin from this day forward. May your hands continue to increase. In the name of Jesus, because the word of God said, it is what he said that God is able to make all grace abound towards you. May grace is abound bound in your finances sir. may grace abound in your job may grace abound in your marriage in the name of jesus i pray over your finances in this season that god will bring you into unlimited overflow of finances sir. in the name of jesus sir. because our god is a god who multiplies seed he said he gives seed to the sower he gives bread to the eater may your seed multiply into uncommon harvest in the name of jesus thank you father in jesus mighty name we prayed amen you can do that by going to finishworktv.com and slash giving and do your giving as the spirit of god will lead you hallelujah is how the spirit leads you thank you for being part of this broadcast we're going to be back here again tomorrow to continue the 21 days of prayer. I love you until my next broadcast. Don't forget this. There is greatness in you. And Jesus is coming soon.